سارت بنا الأيام بالقدر حتى انتهى صفوي إلى كدري طارت بنا الأيام مسرعة من حسنها في لمحة البصر مسحت مصائبها على بصري وعلت عيوني دمعة الهدر ما تنفع اللهات والحذر إذ جاءت الأقدار بالنذر Every time I want to embark on a new project, a new journey, a new mission, I feel sadness. I feel paralyzed by that sadness sometimes. It depresses me. And it's only brief. It's not long. It doesn't last. And it's only because I know that it is from the shaytan. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّمَا النَّجْوَى مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ لِيَحْسُنَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Ibn Qayyim, he comments on this and he says that sadness weakens the heart. يُضْعِفُ الْقَلْبُ وَيُوهِنُ الْعَزِيمَةِ وَيَضُرُ الْإِرَادَةِ It weakens your ambition and it immobilizes you can't move you're too sad and this is the position the shaitan wants you to be in but one of the things that i do overthink about is the execution and subhanallah this whole thing has been perfect from start to finish from getting the visa to landing there first day we stayed in kabul and taysir knocked out oh, i could knock out i get these very bad migraines to the point where at the back of my eye socket has the headache somehow i just couldn't sleep that entire night the next day, when we did land in Herat, when the earthquake did hit, when we distributed the aid, خلاص, I was expecting we're going to get a nice place to stay and we're going to conk out. And long and behold, Zach doesn't want to stay in the hotel that they stayed in. He was like, the whole place is cracked up, I don't trust it. And even the brothers that were from there, they agreed. So we're like, cool, let's go. This location over here, they want us to stay here, that brother that was with us in the distribution. Because we want a one-story building. You know, I stay in a 20-story building, I don't mind. Oh, you're lying, bro. You're telling me you were admin after that horrifying experience that you wanted something out. I don't mind sleeping outside, but we just need to charge our batteries and everything. That's, that's the only issue. But other than that, I don't mind sleeping outside. That's a vibe. It's mad. Another earthquake just hit. Okay, you guys sleep over there. I'm, I'm sleeping here. I'm sleeping here. So Whoa, quick. I'm just saying, go back to the container. These are all parallel. Let's just go to the container. We're right in front of the hotel that they were in yesterday. Just go sleep in the container. I don't mind. Do you mind? Nope. I had to force that hotel these brothers were at. And this guy's scared. Come into the shop. <laughs> well, I look scared to you guys. <laughs> you know how Turkey and stuff all have tents? They sleep just on mattresses. They don't even worry about having in a tent. Afghans don't mess about. Handbrake's not working. Not stuck. Checking out the third option. I'm still fasting. It's actually not bad. It's a nice place to sleep. So if it does collapse on you, it's gonna be a good sleep. You're so paranoid, man. <laughs> I actually like the container bus with all of us together. Let's go. What do you reckon? Come here. Sash now? Forget the cabin in the hotel, I want to sleep right here, man, in the restroom. Wow. <laughs> the pilau rice is coming now, khalas. Everyone's sleeping out on the street. If you were to ask me last year, what do you think it would feel like to experience an earthquake, I'll tell you, I have no idea. SubhanAllah, this year, I've experienced it nearly three times. The night after experiencing the earthquake is such a strange experience. If you're paranoid, you have one eye open, one eye closed, and I was wrecked, by the way. I was tired. No matter where you go, no matter where you try to flee, you cannot escape the qadr of Allah Azza wa Jal. These things, if they're written for you, they're written for you. <laughs> There's no escape in this. From the qadr of Allah to the qadr of Allah. We got the trucks to stay here overnight because we had nowhere to store our aid. Alhamdulillah, we learned a lesson from the last time in Morocco. I got absolutely violated by these truck drivers. But we bring down a price yesterday and Alhamdulillah.
الحق قد في الناشئين جهود سطرت لبناء جيل له مستقبل في العالمين And the areas that were most affected by the earthquake and this is true for Morocco as well were areas where people would build out of mud and obviously they would build out of mud because of poverty but it's also due to the cooling effects of the mud huts during the summer and the warming effects of it during the winter Alhamdulillah we done mad volumes in terms of distribution and everything's tracked and everything's recorded and we had two of the Talibs with us why I thought it was for protection at the start but the reason is for them to actually go back and sign off that they have witnessed that you have distributed what you are going to distribute and I've said this before and I'll say it again and I've said this to many people I've done distributions in many places but subhanallah Afghanistan was the most secure you know the people are going to get the bag of rice and that's why it's very important to stick to the list if you told them you're going to distribute to 300 400 families you really need to stick to that وعن جهد الشبيبة أخبرينا غراس فشمروا للعلم وانضوا وسيروا للعلا مستبصرين ستجنون اجتهادكم ثمارا تضيء الدرب حينا بعد حينا حققت في الناشئين جهود سطرت لبناء جيل له مستقبل في العالمين غراس فشمروا للعلم وانضوا وسيروا للعلا مستبصرين ستجنون اجتهادكم ثمارا تضيء الدرب حينا بعد حينا All right, these are taking ages. You don't have all day. There's another village also that's over there. I'm not going to do another mission with the trucks. The truck drivers wanted $200 each to do another day. I was like, no. I'm going to take the L and drop it off here. The other village, they all know each other. They have a list. They're going to sort it out. So because we gave an extra village today, we didn't put it on the record. So we had to go back to the Taliban governmental headquarters to register everything. The boys have everything on lock. I've seen him going through the papers, the ticks. I'm not gonna lie to you, I've done a lot of distributions. This is probably the most organized in terms of everyone's getting their right and their haq. There's not one person that's getting extra or not getting. And if you do anything less or anything more, you need to report it, you need to let them know. We're literally on the way back and the brother just remembered, he was like, oh, we gave them extra, I need to go back to the base and register it with the government. And I was like, oh, long things, I'm starving right now. The suit's asleep. Is the sword finished? Yeah, 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 yeah. Today, uh, distribution finished. We come back to Herat City, inshallah, inshallah. Aside from the people and how welcoming they are, the nature of Afghanistan was absolutely incredible. Wallahi, it was breathtaking. We're going to another village that's been struck with an earthquake on day three. And I'm looking around and thinking, this place looks like it's straight out of Mars. Mountains on top of mountains. ليلا إلى أن غادرت قمري يا ليتها لم تضح غارقة يا ليتها معشوقة السمري ما قربت في يوم فرقتها ما ألحصى في سيله الغدر رحمك ربي بالتي رحلات يوم القيامة يوم معتذري يوم القيامة يوم معتذري And there was a river, subhanAllah, that was cracked open from the earthquake and as I was making wudu I remember the verse of the Quran وَإِنَّ مِنَ الْحِجَارَةِ لَمَا يَتَفَجَّرُ مِنْهُ الْأَنْهَارِ وَإِنَّ مِنْهَا لَمَا يَشَّقُّ فَيَخْرُجُ مِنْهُ الْمَاءِ وَإِنَّ مِنْهَا لَمَا يَهْبِطُ مِنْ خَشْيَةِ اللَّهِ وَمَاللَّهُ بِغَافِلٍ عَمَّا تَعْمَلُونَ It's always amazing when you've memorized the verse you don't give it much thought but you're in a position you're in a place you're in a situation where 
it's caused the penny to drop and it's one of the best so this is not the meeting with the mayor i couldn't film it for an obvious reason but we had to get the stamp of approval that we actually distributed what we said we we're going to distribute and they're going to take it back to cap so the process was the entire process from start to finish is they tell the, the government of people from Cabo that they're going to do a distribution. Then from there, they come to Hirat, they tell them that, okay, we're gonna do a distribution for this amount of pieces, we have mattresses, we have flour, we have rice, we have pasta, we have oil, and this is what, how much we're gonna give. They say, okay, they go to the field, but before to, they go to the field, then there's other people who also uh, are in charge of um, which village are you gonna go to and what are you gonna distribute? So then they give you the approval. So then you go to that village and they come with you, they follow you, they give you security and they also see with their own eyes that you're going to distribute. So then you distribute. Then you go back with these two people that they have, you get a stamp of approval from them within the villages. Then from within the villages, you go back to here at the main center, you go and you get that stamp that you've distributed as well. And then from that, then they're going to go back to Kabul and then the whole process, it's a full chain. So there's no messing about. It's all documented, all recorded, and everyone gets the right in the end of the day. It's that great. No, no, leave. Stay talking. Okay. والقلب أحرقت هنا دار الفراق أحرقت صبري فمل الإصطبار نار الفراق أحرقت صبري فمل الإصطبار والحزن صار خصلتي فلا أطيق الانتظار والحزن صار خصلتي when we buy these uh, shoes, it is just ten dollars. It is, it is shoes. It, this shoes is made in Afghanistan. So we got saffron, we got dried tooth, Kashmish from Afghanistan. We got Sharbiha, Allah Akbar, and we got. And as I was in Afghanistan, and I wanted to go to Libya, I get the news that. My friends passed away and he's a family, family friend. I was one of the very first people to know because my mom is very close to his mom. And the, it didn't sink in, I, it didn't register. It didn't register, it didn't register. I don't even think it registered now that I'm reflecting on it, even though I did go to Libya. We did bury him. It's just mad. No one's promised this life a lie. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت استغفرك وأتوب إليك.